Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another episode of Watch List Wednesday. Today, what, 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 what? Oh, it's Watch List Wednesday. I'll add it to the list. I accidentally cut off the the, the the intro, but today we're going to be watching another movie in the MonsterVerse universe. Um, Today we're going to be watching Kong Skull Island. Um, I think I have watched this movie before, but I'm going to be totally honest. I do not have a good recollection of it all at all. And since I was going ahead and rewatching pretty much all of the movies, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and literally rewatch all of them. So today we're going to be watching uh, Kong Skull Island. Um, Like I said, I think I've watched this movie. I do not remember all I really, like, remember about it was the fact that, um, what's it called? Tom Hiddleston is in it, and Tom Hiddleston is a badass. But other than that, I remember very little about this movie. So we're gonna go watch it. Um, I believe it's currently on HBO Max for those of you guys who haven't seen it and also would like to watch it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go pop it on, watch through it. I'll be back with my, uh, full reaction and review. Okay, yep, okay. I, I definitely remember bits and parts of, parts of that whenever certain things started to happen. I was like, okay, yeah, I have a good recollection of this. John C. Riley in this is fantastic. I love the comedy and the fact that he's going literally psycho. And the amount of times that he, like, does just, like, totally unhinged things in this movie is absolutely hilarious. I love that. The kaiju fight sequences were the best in this. Um, I think that of the movies that I've seen, I saw Godzilla 2014, I saw Godzilla King of Monsters, and I've seen this. Um, this is some of the best fight sequences I've seen the entire time. And something that I really like about this one is everything takes place in the wild. So for the most part, there, there's no like, oh my god, there's these big buildings to show you the scale or anything like that. But I think that it actually somehow works better. Like, there's no moments where we see like Godzilla through a, a window or whatever, and then like the scaling is all off. Because in my opinion, Godzilla versus what Godzilla King of Monsters and uh the original Godzilla 2014 movie sometimes where they struggled was where they were trying to show Godzilla from like the regular person's point of view but they were in like a skyscraper or whatever looking through a window and like the scale would always be like slightly off something about it would just feel wrong like you'd see his entire face and it's like you should really only be seeing like his eyes or something like that I feel like this movie so far of the ones that I've seen has the best scaling every single time we see Godzilla he feels like he stays consistently the same size the entire time throughout the movie when we first see his hand it's absolutely gigantic when we see them get like really close face-to-face -face moments um his face is absolutely gigantic in comparison to their entire body and i love that that's the kind of stuff that i was looking for in this movie and i think that they delivered incredibly incredibly well so overall i had a really good time with this um we are going to go ahead and dive into a full-on review i accidentally let my first thoughts go a lot longer than I meant to. But those were all my first thoughts right off the bat, right off after seeing this movie. Some of the main key like points that I really liked, John C. Riley, the scaling was fantastic. And I think that all the CGI in general was fantastic. But um, yeah, so to do a full review of this movie, I uh, stand by pretty much everything I just said. I think that this might be the best of the MonsterVerse movies of all the ones that I've seen so far. Um, the scaling is fantastic. All the action sequences are great. Um, like I mentioned before I started watching this, I thought I remember Tom Hiddleston being a badass. And yeah, his introduction scene or whatever, where he quickly like beats up two guys with a pool stick really cool stuff and then later in the movie when we get to see him wielding a sword and doing a lot of really cool epic fight sequences with the weird pterodactyl looking things really cool fight sequences i really enjoyed that and um i think that that's something that i like about this movie in comparison to some of the other ones is um this is the first one where i really care about the human characters and i know that that probably doesn't sound great but uh in my opinion Aaron Taylor Johnson in the first one, it's so unrealistic how he's just getting from city to city to city to city that I end up kind of losing interest in his character a little bit. I feel like I would would have been a little more interested if they made Brian Can Cranston's character, the main character in the first Godzilla movie. And then with the Godzilla King of Monsters, the human story had a lot of characters and a lot of them I didn't really care about. There was a lot of family drama and stuff going on with it and it took away from all the cool kaiju stuff where in this movie, some of the human stuff actually is so entertaining that like i don't mind the fact that we're not seeing godzilla for big chunks of this movie i, I said godzilla i meant king kong I, i'm probably going to keep doing that throughout this entire uh like series because i've watched the two godzilla movies and uh now i'm watching kong and you know kong is vastly different but they're both they're they're giant creature monster dudes um but yeah overall had a really good time with this movie i really liked it and um i think that for the most part like i said the human stuff worked really well for me i think that the idea of World War II veterans, like, kind of, like, crash landing on this fight sequence or whatever and having to put aside their differences to survive on an island, really cool concept. I like that. I like the fact that they uh, 
don't really make light of any of the world war stuff like that but they do a good job of like kind of bringing john c Riley's character up to speed about some of the stuff that he missed um i like the fact that they have very human interactions and uh one thing that i love in any kind of movie or story like this where a person has been away from society for a really long period of time is they'll still find stuff to bond over the fact that they have their conversations about like the cubs versus the lions or was it the lions i think it's the tigers I i'm pretty sure it's the tigers i don't know baseball teams so I'm sorry, I'm mixing them up. They're giant big cats, okay? Either way, the way that they have those interactions work incredibly well. They do a really good job of endearing us to these characters, which is something that is important, in my opinion, for a kaiju movie, um, is if the human characters are characters you like, you're going to enjoy the movie. Whereas, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it like this. If the kaiju stuff is great, but the human stuff suck, and we're having to sit through a lot of the human stuff, and it basically feels like we're just like waiting in line to enjoy the kaiju stuff, you're not going to enjoy the movie. Because regardless, you're probably going to like the kaiju stuff, regardless of what they do, regardless of what's going on with it. So in my opinion, they really need to get the human characters down right, and this movie, they did that. Um, I think that the stuff with Samuel L. Jackson's character being somebody who's absolutely insane and being an American part of a uh, military man who uh, wants to kill all of these giant monsters, very on brand. Uh, I, I think that it fits with like the Godzilla people who are like, let's just nuke everything. Let's explode everything. Um, this giant gorilla needs to go. And um, it's cool. I think that Samuel L. Jackson plays a really good villain in this. And uh, I uh, really enjoyed a lot of the acting in here. I think that Brie Larson and Tom Hiddleston have really good chemistry together. I feel like uh, John C. Riley is very charismatic with everybody that he interacts with. And I think that um, him kind of going psychotic is like really well played out in this movie. I feel like it definitely could have been played too much for laughs, but I think that they do a good job of like occasionally just randomly having him be like, you guys are real, right? And having him like do the things where it's just like, am I talking out loud? I feel like I'm, I'm talking in my head, but I don't know because I've been talking for so long and nobody ever responds to me. And he's just going crazy fantastic absolutely hilarious and it does a really good job of kind of balancing out some of the like heavier tones and some of those creepy death scenes which by the way there's some really horrific like death sequences in this movie and uh that's great i think that they really went for it with some of these murder sequences i feel like um the sequence where they're walking along the woods or whatever and they see the daddy long leg and they see a person who literally has his face impaled in, in a giant tree yeah that's that's pretty horrific that's pretty graphic and i think that that's great that they're willing to go to those lengths to make sure that the like tension and everything is really felt like you really feel a lot more of that weight that the characters are feeling because you're seeing firsthand what's happening to them and uh i think that they do a really good job with that um another thing that i really like um i i, I got to address the elephant in the room and by that i mean the main character kong was epic Every single fight sequence he's in is fantastic. I like the fact that they're able to, like, animate his eyes so you can kind of, like, see the uh, compassion in his eyes. Like, the moment where uh, Brie Larson's character is trying to, like, save the animal, but she can't, and then King Kong comes and picks it up. Really, really cool stuff. I really enjoyed that. Um, I love that when he does the fight sequences or whatever, and he's attacking all of the, like, man-made stuff, that it's very obvious that, like, he doesn't necessarily mean to target the people inside of it. He's just really annoyed that they are polluting this er this world that he's in. And the fact that they start using explosions and guns and all these kinds of weapons on it, he has zero respect for that. And I really think that that's cool. I think that they do a good job of, by the end of the movie, having him be a very compassionate character. Whereas, in the Godzilla movies, they kind of do it, but I feel like it's literally just, like, that one maniac scientist dude who works for monarch who's like oh my god but he is he is the king and we love him and he's great but i'm like in this one i feel like they do a better job of having all of the survivors understand that they couldn't have survived without king kong so it's great i like that and i think that uh kong is a really good character and um the fight sequences at the end of the movie where he like uses a giant chain with the helicopter propeller or whatever on it and he freaking whips it into whatever that creature was i already forgot the name it's like like skull crawler or something I don't, I don't remember something like that that joke was also really funny when uh john c Riley says the name and they're just like and he's just like oh that was supposed to be scary like that didn't that didn't really bother you he's like i you know i've been calling them that for forever but i've never said it out loud now that i said it out loud it sounds stupid and they're like no, no no it's a great it's a good name and when they try to make him feel better i love it i think that these characters just bounce off of each other really well and it was very entertaining um but yeah that sequence i was talking about where he like stabs the the, the creature and then he just pulls him into it oh, that was awesome it was epic i love it um all of the cinematography all of the direction i think that brilliant action all around great um but yeah 
That being said, that was pretty much all for this video. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought that it was fantastic. It was everything you want out of a kaiju fighting monster creature showdown thing. I don't think I said that even remotely correctly, but yeah, that was it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Um, Like I said, I'm doing a little MonsterVerse watch through series, so um, I'm probably going to watch Godzilla vs. Kong at some point. It'll probably be like Sunday's video or something like that, and before you're like, that's not Wednesday, you're going to do a watch this Wednesday on a Sunday? Yes, I might, because I want to see Godzilla x Kong while it's still like super relevant and i feel like with some of the big movies that are coming out this upcoming week um it might not be as relevant in a little bit so yeah um that's the plan to watch it either sunday or monday that video will come out and then i'm gonna make a video um with my reaction and review to godzilla x kong the new empire and then i'll probably make a video at some point next week ranking all of those movies together and uh yeah but yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to kind of break down my upcoming schedule for any of you guys who are interested. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and peace out now. I love and appreciate you guys so much. Bye-bye. Back at it again, but that's irrelevant. Flow so smooth, they calling me Mr. Elegant. Like an elephant, I got a long nose. Like a president, I've got a few hoes. Swift with a stutter, I'm smooth like butter. Don't see it coming when I slip undercover. Like a big dog, but I don't bite. I'm still a big broad, I'd win that fight. Come match you and I knock out your l l lights. <laughs>